Storms are possible with this and we'll continue to see that chance for some showers and storms often on Thursday night into Friday morning. As that finally lifts to the north, we'll be looking at an even warmer day for Friday as temperatures climb up to near 80 degrees. We do have a low risk for some strong storms tomorrow. Right now, we are still in a level one out of five for across much of mid-Missouri. That's near and south of that warm front that I showed you. Main risk with this is going to be the potential for some small hail. Right now, it's a 5% risk and that means we have a chance of one inch hail within 25 miles of a location. So it's a 5% chance of that. So I'm not expecting anything too widespread, which is why we're not going to issue a weather alert day for this system at this point. Tracking quite a bit of rainfall, though, over the next several days. This is the rain tracker through Monday. So the next seven days, we could see anywhere from one to three inches of rain. So even with tomorrow and Thursday, we will still have another chance for some rain, especially by Saturday night after a big warm up. I'll show you when we'll start to see those increasing temperatures and what we can expect if you have outdoor plans this weekend. That's in my next forecast. The Missouri Senate is taking up the state budget this week. ABC 17's Hannah Falcon went to the hearing where senators looked at the budget for public education. And Hannah, he spoke with Lincoln University's president about what he hopes to see from the budget. That Lincoln University is seeking a full match for its land grant that would bring in $287,000 for the university. And it has asked for this for many years, since about 2000, the president told me. And each year, the state budget fell short of completely matching the land grant. But today, senators added in the 2023 budget just enough to match that land grant. Now, land grants are federal grants that require a full match from either the state or the university. And Lincoln University currently has to waive the part of the grant that the state budget does not match. When these budget bills were in the House, representatives took out the funding required to match Lincoln University's federal land grant. Lincoln University President John Mosley tells me the university wants to use the grant funds to do agricultural research. We focus on smaller farmers, and uh, right now our efforts are focused in St. Louis, Kansas City, and the Boot Hill region of the state. Um, we'd like to expand those services uh, north of Highway 70 to smaller farmers there um, to help them grow their profits. Uh, we understand the importance of agriculture to this state. Now, the Appropriations Committee that was going over these bills today is currently in recess, but they say they plan to do these all night and all week, actually, through Thursday. Lawmakers have until May 6th to get a budget on the governor's desk. Reporting live from the state capitol, I'm Hannah Falcon, ABC 17 News. Okay, Hannah, thank you. And the House and Senate will have a conference to discuss all of the changes the Senate Appropriations Committee makes on the budget before it can go to the governor's desk.